Hey, Will, this is Matt at Perkins Motorplex here in Mayfield, Kentucky. I am down here on our bottom lot right outside of one of our main service centers uh, here at our Mayfield location. And I'm going to outline any imperfections that I see on this 19 F350. Like I said, we actually sold this one uh, to a gentleman in South Carolina. He purchased a, a F250, needed less of a truck, and traded this back into us after about two years of having it. Um, so it has been well taken care of. You'll see that we put six new tires on this one, four in the back, one here, uh, two here in the front. Um, but of course it is a used truck, so there are gonna be some things that I show you along the way. And it does have one key fob that comes with it. Remote start does work. I did use it uh, whenever I was pulling it up from the back. But starting here on the front, looking for any hail damage, any scratches here on the hood, and do not see much to point out to you. Mild dust um, and very small. Uh, little pecks here from the rocks flying up and hitting it just from normal road wear, but nothing major, no cracked headlights. Looks like a little bit of cracking in that fog light there on the passenger side, but none of the chrome is chipping or fading or uh, really like peeling or anything like that. And again, just minor scratching here on that fog light there on the driver's side as well. Um, like I highlighted at the beginning of the video, you do have brand new tires on this one. You can still see the factory line on these. All six of them um, look to be replaced. Very little wear here on the wheels. Now, I'm just looking for any door dings, scratches, touch up paint, anything like that. If I'm being super picky, you'll see a couple small touch up spots uh, here on the passenger's or driver's door panels. But I don't see any door dings or anything of that nature. It does have the chrome rain guards along the top. All the seals look to be in great shape. It's not fading. Um, and all the chrome accents are in good shape as well. Of course, being a dually, you, you have this jet out on the wheel well. You'll see a couple small spots here along there. Um, but nothing like, sometimes you'll see these just peppered with rock chips. I don't see that on, on this one. Just see a couple spots here. Um, there and on that on that wheel well underneath looks phenomenal as well very clean don't see any signs of any major rust or anything of that nature it's just a little bit of fuzz falling off of there nothing along the top of the uh tailgate or bedsides doesn't look like a forklift has gotten a hold of it i have seen that before on dooley's where uh, if it has been worked out of you'll see the top of the bed liner um, or the bedside's kind of beat up. Do you see the outside of the sensor? Um, see the cap around that one? That one is busted, but no cracks or dents in the back of that tail uh, chrome bumper. Bed looks like it's in phenomenal shape. Worried me a little bit when I didn't see a bed cover in it, um, especially being a dually, but you see very minor wear. It's not peppered with gravel or anything like that. Nothing major that causes a concern. Just a good bed truck, or truck bed, I should say. Getting brand new tires. Underneath looks phenomenally clean. Very good shape. No door dings that I'm seeing, no indentions. All the power running board, or the fixed running boards there look to be in good shape too. I'll open up the back. Here, let you see inside the back, see the condition of the seats. Seats are in phenomenal shape. I see one small spot here on that back. Get the shade in there. But nothing out of the ordinary. You got the cup holders that come out the front of this there. Maybe a little bit of, looks like that could have been in there and tucked in does have the outlets here. Do not see any signs of any heated seats in the back. I know you asked about that. Uh, it does have the back vents, carpet, liner, and of course your storage bin that can be locked or laid down flat, depending on what you need it for. Passenger seat. I know this is probably where your wife's going to be sitting the most, so don't want to uh, skip over this portion of it as well. Cosmetically, everything looks to be in phenomenal shape. Do have power and lumbar assist here um, for the passenger seat. And then to the driver's seat, of course, the uh, most used 
Uh, probably the most important seat of the truck, um, and I don't see any really wear here on this. Inside's in phenomenal shape. A lot of the time you'll see the inside of this um, middle console torn up, but don't see any signs of wear there. Carpet looks phenomenally phenomenal. No rips or anything like that. It is a turnkey. And of course, heated and cooled seats up front on this one as well. See all the technology on it, it does have 90,000 miles. Um, will be out of any factory warranty uh, on this, even the 100,000 mile powertrain or diesel engine coverage is probably expired due to the age of the truck or at least close to it, a few months left of that coverage. So uh, we can look at options to pick up the majority of that comprehensive coverage all the way up to like 150,000 miles on this truck. Um, but I'm gonna turn this down so you can hear me, but you have all of your controls here on uh, this home screen navigation of course and then uh, you'll have your Bluetooth options down here as well and of course you can use climate or audio there um, but dash looks phenomenal I don't see any cracks or anything like that have all of your truck controls all of your meters things like that that you would need uh, if you have any questions please let me know uh, I did just initial climbing into the truck there is a faint smoke smell to it uh, probably nothing that our um, chlorine bombs couldn't get rid of um, if you have any questions like i said let me know um, very well taken care of previous customer of ours that traded it in so let me know how i can help you on it